Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's uh, time to go to church. Let's go. I don't have much of a commute just to get to church from the manse. And you all are going to have to take some virtual commutes to get to church for the next foreseeable future. But we'll try to make the most of it, and I know that we can and will make the most of it. You know, God is always with us, as I tell you after church every Sunday. Jesus is as close to us as the breath that we breathe. So anyways, get into your virtual cars and um, come to virtual church. I'll meet you in a courtyard and we'll have our uh, call to worship there. See you soon. Matthew, Jesus tells his disciples, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Hey friends, let's go to church and worship God together as best we can. Welcome to worship at Wallingford Presbyterian Church. You know, uh, the lectionary divides the church year in uh, different seasons, Lent, Advent, Christmas, Easter. There's also a season called Ordinary Time, uh, which takes most of the Sundays during the year. And even though we're currently in the season of Lent, uh, I think that I, I will begin uh, to refer to these Sundays when we uh, worship together virtually as unordinary Sundays. So in light of the fact that we didn't worship last Sunday, um, that would have been the first Sunday in unordinary time, which makes this Sunday the second Sunday in unordinary time. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together. God, our helper, our shade, our protector, you are able to give life to the dead, to call into being things that do not exist. We trust in your power to make all things new, to keep us in sunlight and moonlight, along rocky paths and pathways unknown, until all our going and coming brings us at last to your promised fullness in Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. It's time for our message to young disciples, so if the children aren't with you right now, why don't you call them over to your computer screen or your iPad and uh, have them give a listen to Pastor Taylor as she shares her message with them. Hi friends, uh, I'm, for those who don't know me, I'm Pastor Taylor, but I just wanted to say hi, uh, to pop in and say that we're going to have a little uh, time with young disciples, even though we can't gather in here like we normally do, it'll be fun to gather in this way too. So I'm so glad you tuned in. As you uh, probably heard from the video before this, uh, we have our scripture for today being Psalm 23, and one of the big parts of that is the theme of a shepherd. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. So my question to you is, what's a shepherd? Does anybody know? Well, if you don't know, shepherds lead sheep. This is my little sheep plush uh, beanie bag uh, baby that my mom gave me. Uh, and the little sheep 
uh, they need someone to take care of them, right? But let's remember what sheep do, all right? So what do, what's the sound that the sheep make? If you remember, say it on one, two, three. If you said, bah, then you did right. I think everybody remembers that one, right? That was the easy one. But what else do shepherds do? Shepherds guide and protect, right? So little sheep, if they don't have someone to guide them and protect them, they might wander into danger, right? They might uh, just not know where they're going. They might get lost, right? But in our psalm for today, it says, the Lord is my shepherd. So let's think about that. If shepherds guide and protect sheep, if the Lord is our shepherd, what are the two things that God does for us? Guide and protect. That's right. So let's think about that this week, right? You might be hearing some of the scary things that are happening in the world. You might feel a little nervous about all the change and confusion. But let's remember that we still, after all of this, um, and even when things are peaceful or when things are scary, we still always have our shepherd, just like the sheep, right? We are his sheep, and God will be there to guide and protect us, right? Okay, so let's close with an echo prayer like we do at church. So after I say the part of the prayer, you're going to say it with me, okay? Dear Lord, thank you for your love. Be with us this day and help us to remember that you always guide and protect and love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Great job, everybody. Looking forward to next time to seeing you again. And um, I'll be keeping you in prayer. And so I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.
scripture, and I ask you to uh, pray. Oh Lord, we wait for you in your word and we trust. That the power of your spirit set our hearts and minds on the source of life and peace. Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Scripture today is familiar, and it's a psalm, Psalm 23, that we often turn to in times of need, and in times of confusion, um, as these times are. Listen to these ancient words. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in new pastures, he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Last Sunday, the first Sunday when we suspended worship, Cindy and I came to the church to greet anyone who might not have received uh, that message. Uh, and while we were there, I received a text from Carl, a member of our choir and our wonderful soprano soloist, and she sent me this I want to share with you. She wrote, Good morning. I'm thinking about our church family. I wanted to offer some music in hopes that it could bring the congregation some peace and joy during these very secluded times. I'd like you to hear um, this wonderful solo that uh, Kara has shared with us.
These are trying times for uh, many of us and many people, and I am particularly mindful of those for whom um, this will be a significantly difficult time financially. Uh, we certainly need to do what we can to reach out to those who will be most vulnerable this, during this time. Um, if you can bring food to the um, red wagon, uh, that's wonderful. If the church isn't open, just leave it by the door and I will make sure that uh, uh, our deacons receive your offering, your food offering, and it gets delivered to the folks who need it. Um, obviously, uh, we need to continue to pay our bills and pay the light bills and our staff. So um, if you can, I hope that uh, you'll continue to, um, to send in your pledges. Um, probably the best thing to do is just to put it in an envelope and stick a stamp on it and use the snail mail unless you're already contributing uh, directly from your bank. Um, thank you for continuing to... Uh, support the mission and the ministry of this church, particularly in these times when um, we are not physically together. And let's dedicate our gifts together. Let us pray. O Lord, you are our God. We are the people of your pasture, the sheep of your hand. As you have fed us with your mercy, may it be our daily bread to do your will through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Pastor Taylor, would you lead us now in our pastoral prayer and the Lord's Prayer? I invite you to join me in the prayer and intercession. Let us pray. Lord, in this time of fear and change, we lay our lives before you, knowing that you are a God of order and not of chaos, a God of peace and not of discord. This morning we come to you and ask that your loving presence would surround us. We pray that your Holy Spirit would be a connecting force between us, even as we are apart. We pray now to the same Lord who brought us together in communion, knowing that you will continue to bring us together in our hearts, though we are apart. Lord, we lift up those who are infected with the virus and their families, and we ask that you would give them comfort and strength in this time. We also pray for all those who have lost a friend or family member to this virus, and ask that you would give them comfort in this time of mourning, and that your consolation would bring a sense of peace into their grief. God, we ask that you would replace our fear with reassurance, and we ask that in this time, you would remind us of your sure presence, and that you are a very present help in times of trouble. Remind us, God, that you did not give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of adoption, that when we cry, Abba, Father, that you are with us. Lord, as you send us into this coming week, help us to be beacons of your light, love, and hope in a time of chaos. Help us to spread your love in ways that we can, and ways that you are calling us to do, even if it takes a little creativity, knowing that we have your spirit to guide us along the way. We thank you for your abiding presence. We pray all of this in the name of Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I've asked Lee to lead us in our closing hymn, and I hope that you can um, sing along with us and make a joyful noise uh, unto the Lord as we come to the close of our worship service today. Lee, take it away. Hi everyone, I'd like to invite you to sing along with or just listen to hymn number 802, The King of Love My Shepherd Is, as a reflection on Psalm 23 for this week. It might feel a little funny to be sitting in front of your computer or on your phone singing along, so maybe just start by listening, maybe start humming a little bit along with the tune, or if you feel comfortable you can jump on in and sing along with me. Either way, we hope you can reflect on these very meaningful words for this week. Where streams of light. 
this morning. Friends, I know this isn't easy, and I know that uh, it may uh, get a little harder before it gets easier, but let's be there for each other as a community of faith. Uh, keep each other in your prayers, in your hearts, in your thoughts. Call each other up, send some texts, FaceTime, do all those things that you know how to do in order to keep in touch with one another, uh, and to remind the community that uh, the grace and the love of God is still very much here in the midst of it all. My friends, this week, wherever you may be, whatever your circumstances may be, know that our Lord Jesus Christ is with us as close as every breath we take and find comfort and find a sense of peace in that knowledge. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. See you next week. Blessings.